Hello everyone, Sons and Ducks 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on more tooltips. A mod simply adds in additional tooltips when hovering over tools or potions or certain other things, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, as well as uh, food and saturation information. So, uh, what I'll do is just get, for example, a few swords. And we'll get, I guess, like a set of armor or something. Actually, we'll get a few chest plates, I guess. That's a good enough demonstration, probably. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, a few modded ones as well I can test. Um, we've got a. It doesn't help. Uh, what else is there? Um, what else was there? Potions, I guess. I think you can find information. Mm, okay, I was wrong. There is no information there. I was thinking a different. I was thinking a different model like this. Um, what else was there? So we've got enchant ability, food. All right, so we'll go with something like maybe cake, which doesn't display it for some reason. All right, let's go something like potatoes, which will. All right, cool. Um, is there any other like other item stuff I can show? Enchant books maybe. Not showing it. Um, so there's a different size stack. Uh, and a pill, so it'll work. So, yeah. Uh, basically, what you want to do is just hover over a particular item and you can see certain information. So, for example, we've got durability here on all of these. I don't need, I think, the F3H advanced tooltips thing anymore if I wanted to find out durability. Um, so, there is that. Don't know. Okay, so for repair cost and enchantability, you don't need to see it either. Excuse me. Um, so you've got that information. So if you want to know what the enchantability is of a certain armor, modded or not, you can. Um, as well as the repair cost being obviously how much durability it's taken, and uh, knowing the repair cost before you reach the anvil. So that is quite nice. Um, for the modded ones, around the ten range. That's obviously twenty three, and gold is still. So the best for chainability here at 25, whilst others can differ. Um, I think the leather tunic is at 15, surprisingly. Well, that's actually not that bad. Better than iron and a few others, though, give it work. Yeah. Um, so we've got time of day, because I'll we'll avoid that. So we'll go weather clear. Okay. So other than that, we've got uh, tools. I'm just going to move these all up here. I also have got chain, which is 12, apparently. Um, so you've got Enchantability and repair cost on those as well. Got durability in all these. Uh, the only other information I guess to show is hunger and saturation. It's all stack size. So you can see the hunger and saturation is obviously 1 and 0.6, 5 and so on. Kind of depends on which food, of course. And you got stack size, which applies to any obviously items that are stackable. So for Ender Pearls at 16, for certain other ones here, I've got is 64. Uh, for tools and such, it doesn't apply because they're just their own. Um, stack size or not compatible with stacking. So yeah. Um, other than that, I think that is it. You just get durability information, enchantability, repair cost, um, hunger, and saturation. I think. Um, so burn time apparently, which I also forgot. Um, which is for things like coal and wood and certain other fuels. I don't know about modded ones, like modded coals, they shouldn't probably work, but in terms of like flammable fuels maybe they might. Uh, we've got lava, technically to test that, 20,000 20, ticks. Um, this is that I guess. I don't know if durability works on powered tools either, which I don't have any of that installed, but my guess is maybe, but you probably sort of get that information I think usually anyways. Um, on it, maybe? Or is that only with the F3H advanced tooltips thing? I'm not sure. Um, you got MBT data if you need that information. Um, what else is there? Enabling or disabling stuff and so on. So I'm going to. It's translation as well, for consideration. Alright, so I don't know if this is in the mod menu only though. Uh, tooltips. It seems to be. I uh, will check the configs as well. Let's see. And what's it called again? More tooltips, right? Yes. Cool. So I'll go here and here. You can access any of these as well if you want to via the file. 
But uh, I'm just going to go the mod menu way. So what we've got access to is the ability to enable or disable them. If you don't want to see them at all, perfectly fine. Um, if you do want to see them, does it keep it active? True. We've got debug mode, which I assume is to access some of the other stuff. So there's a translation key apparently. Uh, translation key is I'm just show you a bunch of technical names, and then maybe what I do transition to. I don't know. You can see the MBT here and how much damage something's taken. So for example, we just go to the iron sword here. We can see. Let's see. I don't need that. Uh, let's see. Uh, no repair cost being mentioned. There's eight. Uh, there's eight damage and so on. All right. What else do we have the ability to see or have displayed? So let's see, MBT data is on shift, we've got our hunger and durability and burn time and such, we've got the registry name on shifting, we're sneaking, um, max tools, stack size, XP cost when repair, <coughs> excuse me, enchantability and mining level, and that seems to be it. Uh, so you pretty much assume just to select these, and there's a bunch of options. So you can hide that information, I guess, show that information, show it only when in debug mode, only when you're holding shift, or only when you're holding shift and in debug. So you can set up accordingly which option you want. Um, I'm just going to show for that one. Oh, come on, I don't know why it's struggling there. Um, but either way, you can set whatever state you want it to be in to show or hide set information. Or if you want to hide all of it or just completely ignore it all, then go to obviously the uh, turning on and off one. But uh, yeah, if you want more additional information, uh, definitely a mod to go with. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.